hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have my november favorites for you guys oh my dear goodness i can't even come to grips with the fact that it's already almost december like what is this anyway november i did try out a few new products and then i also rediscovered some old products as well so i thought that i'll share those with you for today so yeah i'm not even going to bother rambling on about how fast this year's gone and blah 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 so let's get straight into the video so the first product that I want to talk to you guys about is the Benefit Professional. I've had this in my collection for a very, very long time, but I have been using it very, very regularly this month. Like basically every single day that I've been using primer, this has been the primer that I've been reaching for. If you want a primer to erase your pores, this isn't going to do that. So far from all my testing of makeup, I haven't found any primer to do that. But if you do want a primer to reduce the appearance of your pores, this is a very, very good one. And it also does make my makeup last a little bit longer as well. So I absolutely adore that primer. If you haven't checked it out, definitely go try and get a sample from Benefit because it is very, very nice. So a foundation combo that I have to share with you guys is the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation in the shade F200. You can tell that I love this because it's basically almost all gone. Like there's only the tiniest little bit left and then I am all out. But don't worry, I've got a few more bottles left in my backup drawer. Um, I love this foundation so much. It's very, very affordable and it's just a very, very good quality foundation on its own. But I have been using it mixed with the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. I have mine in shade Medium Beige. I've been mixing these two together. I did it first just to get a nice color match. But seriously, I am obsessed with the finish. I'm obsessed with the texture and I'm obsessed with how it lasts and looks. Seriously, these two together are a match made in heaven. I am obsessed. For priming the eyes, I've been obsessed with MAC Paint Pots. Um, in specific, it is this one here in the shade Soft Ochre. I feel like I'm the last person on earth to try this paint pot, but seriously, it is so good. Um, I have it on today. Obviously, I've got eyeshadows on, but I have it on today. Um, I feel like the best way to use this is to apply it to the eye and then set it with a setting powder and then go over with eyeshadows. That's just the easiest way and you don't get any creasing. For eyeshadow palettes, I have three. Um, two are from the same line. These are the Essence All About palettes. So this is all about nude and this is all about bronze. Um, I love these. If you want a shimmer palette and you're obsessed with bronzes, you need to get this palette from Essence. Like seriously, the quality of these shadows are so incredibly good. Like can we just take a second to appreciate, like, like seriously. Can we just take a second to appreciate that quality? Like, it is so amazing. I would swatch it on my arm, but I currently have fake tan developing and I don't want to have random stripes. I'm sorry. But can we just take a minute to appreciate that pigmentation? It is amazing. Then also the Essence All About Nudes palette is also amazing. This does have more mattes than shimmers in the palette though. The All About Bronze only has shimmer colors. The All About Nudes palette does have some matte and some shimmer. So if you're wanting a more matte palette, definitely give this one a try because it is amazing. And then I have rediscovered my love for the Lorac Pro palette. I do have a few of these shades on my eyes today. Um, I'm obsessed with this palette. I don't know why I even stopped using it, but it's an amazing palette. If you don't own it yet and you are based in Australia, maybe check Amazon. That's where I get most of my Lorac stuff from. For eyebrows, I do have this in my eyebrows today. This is the Sigma Brow Duo in the shade Medium. Um, it's just a brow powder. Very, very plain, very, very simple. But I feel like this lasts a long time in the brows. And then I've also got the Sigma Brow Pencil in the shade Dressed Up. It's just a very, very complimentary shade to my hair color. Very, very beautiful. And then I did set my eyebrows with my favorite brow gel, which is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the darker shade. I think it's called like dark brown or something. For highlight, I rediscovered the Balm Mary Luminizer. Why I ever put this down, I don't know. I have it on today. I do have a little bit of champagne pop on as well, but mainly I do have the Mary Luminizer and I am obsessed again. Like seriously, why did I ever stop using it? I don't know. And then I've got four lip products to show you guys. So the first one is a lip liner, and I do have this on today with another lip product that I'll mention in a minute. Um, this one is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Liner in the shade 302 Boyus de Rose. Is that even how you say it? I don't know. That's on the outer perimeters of my lips. And then for my actual lipstick, I'm wearing NYX Black Label Lipstick in the shade Heres, H-E-I-R-E-S-S. I love this shade so much. That's what it looks like there. Like, 
I'm obsessed with it. Like, I love it so much. It's not a matte nude. It's definitely a very, very glossy nude. But it's a very my lips but better shade. I'm obsessed with it so much. So, I've been loving two other lipsticks. One from MAC and one from NARS. The one from MAC is MAC Lady Danger. It's just the most beautiful color. Can we just take a minute to appreciate its beautifulness? Like seriously, just look at it. It's so absolutely gorgeous, right? I've been loving it so much and I've been wearing it so regularly. And then I've also been obsessing over this lipstick from NARS. I think it's called Schnapps or Scappy or something. Um, it's pronounced S or it's spelt, should I say, S-C-H-I-A-P. Um, I'm not too sure how you would say that. I don't really know, but it's just the most bright pink and I love it so much, so much. Okay guys, so that is all the products that I've been loving for the month of November. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I do upload videos every single week and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will see you next time. Bye.